Okay, and now we want to learn the most important points on the channels. Um, we need to know the yuan, the source point, the law connecting point, okay, and the chic left points. So this again is um, uh, just a way to remember that for the exam. Um, we know often as clinicians a lot of these points in our heads, but to put it all together and to answer exam questions fast, I find this is a more effective method. Okay, so where do we start here? Let's um, first of all think about the keys to this one are 7, 6, 6, 7. And then you've also got to remember 4 and 3. I just write this at the top every time just to remember. I would say both of these things also, you don't have to write this if you remember it, but there's a skip to function. Okay? So once we have this, we write out the order that we're going to write the organs down in, in for this memory cue is actually the Chinese clock. Um, this is uh, an important order to know as a practitioner actually, probably one of the most important orders I find. Lung, large intestine, remember this is 3 to 5, 5 to 7 a.m., right? And then it's stomach breakfast time, Spleen time, time to do work, right? Heart time, middle of the day. You know, the horse time, we say. The only animal still standing is the horse. All others are resting, so should you, right? Small intestine time, time to go back to work. Okay, bladder processing working, not as pushing as the spleen time, right? Kidney. I remember that, you know, you'll, you should remember this order, the Chinese clock order. It's um, yin, yang partners, right? And they remember that the, the yang always goes to yang, the yin always goes to yin, right? Um, after kidney, we have pericardium, then we have the triple energizer, and then gallbladder midnight, and the famous 1 to 3 a.m. liver, right? Okay, once we've written out that Chinese clock order, we also want to write what we're going to do. The Yuan is source point, we can consider that the most important. The law connecting point, and then the Xi cleft, right? Xi cleft is last, X is the last. Let's put some lines down here, it helps us, okay, yeah. Um, right. So what does this mean? Where do we start? Let's start with this 7667. So 7667. Six, six, Skip two and we go down to the heart. This time we go 76. This is patterns, right? 76. We forget the 67. It only occurs in the first one, right? 7676, seven, like the first one there. We skip two, bladder, kidney, go down to pericardium. Now the 7, 6 comes to here. And now we drop down. 7, 6, 7, 6. Did you see that combination I used? 7, 6, 7, 6, 7, 6. It's about remembering the pattern. There's no, like, it's not the super easy way to do it. But um, if you write it out enough times, you will get it. And I feel it's easier than any other method I have seen so far, right? So 7, 6 is linked, 6, 7 is linked, 7, 6 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 is linked. Right. Once we have that, remember the gallbladder, I just write it in before I get too confused. This should be pretty obvious later, but this should be 37 and 36. Okay. Now, 4 and 3 also skip 2. So... You know, this pattern is then, first of all, we know the yuan point of the lung. You just got to remember that. You should know that. It's an influence point to lung nine. And then we start this pattern. Four, skip two. Well, I actually kind of skip three, skip one, but like four, skip one, three. Four, three, four, three. Did you see that four, three pattern? It's very consistent. And it goes down, large intestine, spleen, small intestine, kidney, triple energizer, liver. Actually, we've done a whole bunch here already, right? If 
For the stomach, it's one of the ones you just got to remember. The yuan point is stomach 42. The low point we normally know in our head, stomach 40, it's where it disconnects from the channel, yeah, and goes internally. Um, that then links to 34. Not the easiest numbers to remember, but you know, think about the big numbers on the stomach channel down near the ankle. Remember, these points here are generally going to be down near the ankle or the wrist. I mean, we could write that here as well. Where, where can we write that? Ankle, wrist. Because that helps us, you know. Um, spleen points, you know, three, as I work down, I just work through it. Always the same system every time, so I remember it. Three, four, and double four is eight. Seven, five, six, the heart. Bladder, we have to remember, 64, yeah, 63. Well, actually, if you remember back, um, if you really want to write all these things out together, remember 67, 66, 65 in the bladder, the first three points, the Jing Ying and Shu points. And then what's missing here? Then we start with 64 and then 63. And then the missing number here is 58. Three, four, five, that's the easiest one, kidney, right? Pericardium, seven, six. Well, you think you'd put five here as a logic thing? No, actually what we're gonna do, if we put five here, I'll show you what we do. We put four here and we put five here. Because remember this four, five, six, seven. If you put a five there, you know this is gonna be four. No, that can't be four and four, right? So this is just ways I remember it in my head. Um, gallbladder, what's the ankle point for the gallbladder? Well, go about a 40, right? So the liver point, three, five, six. So we actually have all those numbers. We got, we got started by using this code, seven, six, six, seven. Then we use the four, skip one, three, four, three, four, three. And then we just use some, there's some memory, some kind of logic with go about a 40, things like that. But once you know those and you've got them out, that really helps you in the exam be really confident and clear and it's really easy to mix those numbers up with questions yeah very good